It's actually pretty good, so you can still ask for that. First name and email. That's all you need, by the way. Last name, zip code, state, which is redundant after zip code, and we're in Canada. Hello. Uh, country and phone number. But don't worry, phone number was optional for a newsletter. And I asked the person, I DM them and said, Are you, you're on crack. <laughs> Why would you ask for that? He goes, well, because the people who give it, you know, I got a stronger list. Are you going to phone them? Well, no. Well, then why the hell are you asking for a phone number? Well, just in case they wanted to give it to me. You, what is wrong with people? Why are we doing this? Why do we do things like this to create it? You are losing people. You are losing the ability to get people. The job is to get them to sign up, to get them into your world and into your funnel. Why are you making the path of most resistance go towards you? When we create landing pages for clients, first name, email, done. That's it. Why are you asking for more things? Stop making me work to do things. It's the contests, the same things. Surveys. I was on a site yesterday, and here comes this little bubble popped up. Hey, it's like 1993 all over again. Here comes a bubble on the screen. It says, please take this survey to help us. What? No. Why? Never. Ever. Why would I help you? We're selfish. That's our job. We're human nature are selfish. What would it take for you to say, if you fill out this survey, be entered to win an iPad? People would sell their mother for an iPad right now. <laughs> what, is it worth it to you to have 500 times, listen to the staff, 500 times the sign up if you offer something to give away when it comes to a survey? Think about that for a second. But no, we want you to take this survey. It doesn't make sense, people. You see me losing my mind? There's a reason here. I did a survey, I have a list of, uh, it's a motivational list of 200,000 people. I got 11,000 responses to a survey when I offered one Amazon $50 gift card to one winner. What would he freaking do? Was it worth 50 bucks for me? You're damn right it was. I got, I got, I got more surveys than Ipsos Reed could have gotten. <laughs> I, some, uh, the National Survey Company in Canada, one of them, I don't know which one it was, one of the main ones, they said, we surveyed 912 Canadians about this. What? And I can survey 10,000 by offering one gift card. Think about it. Who cares? When you send something out, who cares? Why would they care? We have a chance to engage, and that's my world is about engagement. We have such a chance to engage with people on a daily basis. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be Twitter or Facebook. When somebody signs up for your newsletter, what do they get in return? Thanks for signing up. One, two, five, six, seven, five, door, dash, three, A Weber. <laughs> right? But that's what they get. Why not engage with them? If you go and sign up for the unmarketing newsletter, you get one right back from me saying, hey, thanks for signing up. I appreciate you having a spot in your inbox for me. Can I ask what you do? It allows me to tailor the newsletter to my audience. Yeah. It's like an automation. Yeah. And that, here's that here. Oh, so here's the issue about automation. Back to that. Automating a DM versus automating a newsletter. And social media shifts it because you're being social. Back to the automation point as well. When people say automation should be okay because it works, first five minutes of your tweet is when you get the most reactions to it. And tweets are conversational points. And when you're not there for the reply, that's the biggest problem. I saw a speaker two weeks ago. I swear to you, I swear to you, the speaker was talking about being authentic. And up on the screen, when they were talking, come a tweet from them. That was automated. I was in the screen with the comments. I kid you not. It was awesome. I'm back there and stuff. Yes. 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 So sweet and tasty. So delicious. We talk about authenticity and being, and, and being that way. It's a cheesy word, but it's true. You want to have people come to your blog? You want them commenting on your blog? Take a stand. Be you. We try to be somebody else. I have that cheesy line, but it works. I actually have it pasted right on my desk. If you are your authentic self, you have no competition. And I truly believe that because you bring something to the table. We strive to be somebody else in business. We can be like him. We can be like her. Why are you trying to be a less version of somebody else in business when you can make you I'm living proof of that. Two years ago, nobody heard of me outside of my clients in viral marketing. And now I'm kind of a big deal on a semi-relevant website. But I'm saying it to prove to you that you guys sitting here right now have got the same advantage of doing that. It might not be 54,000 followers. It might not be a book, but it could be more. It could be less, but you got the chance to do it. And that's the huge thing. I'm going into 20 relevant books. I'm sorry. 